Boom. All right. So here we go. We're live. We are live. All right. So 41 people in the chat. Let's see who's here. I need sleep. You still need sleep. You're here. Oh my God, Prophet. Prophet's here. Ronnie's here. Cerebus is here. GVWB is here. Uh, let's see. Andre's up here. Short. Short. I saw your chat earlier. Welcome to the live stream, bud. Uh, Devil Dog is here. The Magos is here. Ah, oh, let's see. Who else? Zach. Zach has been here for a while. And Hobbit. Hobbit was first in. Um, all right. So, hey, Raymond. All right. So tonight, we are going to be checking out, of course, Big D's Guide to Avoiding Arrest. Yes. All right. So, let me tell you guys some stuff. Sarah, 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 Sarah I don't know, man. I have no idea. Um... Uh, Shane Clark, the heretic, is here. All right, so <clears throat> I am running at normal latency, which means it's going to take about 30 seconds for me to, for what happens, like for me live, to be shown on the screen. Let me go through some stuff before we start on this. Number one, if you don't know, I opened a Twitter and an Instagram, and right now there are baby chickens hatching all over the place. It, it is what it is. Uh, secondly, me and the hospitaler have uh we're going to be you know um starting in new positions on the 20th so um my schedule is going to radically change i'm working graveyard which i kind of want because it's going to be kind of a relaxing kind of thing so with that being said um my schedule is going to change a bit my output is not going to change i'm going to be trying to do live streams as much as possibly can uh that work with everybody <sighs> Let's see. Jackson is here. Failius is here. What's up, Nick? And Devil Dog. Most watched channels? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad, Devil Dog. I'm really glad. Why do I have chickens? It is a massively long story, convoluted and depressing. But um, we're not going to have them long. We're just, we're just hatching them for somebody. You know, We're just holding on to them until they get back into town. Stuff like that. And then we're going to be uh, done with them. But, um, okay, so, what are the other things I need to put out? Um, part two of the Commissar story is almost done. It'll be released on Patreon, and I'm thinking about a premiere on Friday or Saturday. I don't know which yet. Um, yeah, why do you not have chickens? <laughs> the Eighth Legion's here. Yes, yes. Baby chickens are very crunchy, Cerebus. In any case, so a lot of stuff happening. I want to thank, personally, Griffin of Might. Warsmith Strider, Eagle, um, Emperor Eagle, and of course Arco for putting in their voice talents on the uh, second part of the Commissar story. And of course the Hospitaler, of course. Uh, comment, commentator, what's up, bud? And he, Dusting Trays in this collection, I don't really know what we're going to be doing. Um, you flay chickens. Everyone flays chickens, Prophet. If I've been, uh, I'm like. If they, if they only knew who was looking down at them with a smile, they'd flee in terror. I can't... Look, look. I can't pronounce certain words. This is known. <laughs> this is known. All right, so. A um, little bit different way I'd, I'm going to be doing reactions now. Um, I'm going to be taking the top recommendation and the oldest recommendation. If I can do two videos in a day, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so today, before I set up the live stream, I checked out Baltimore's video on the Australian Firstborn, and he did a fantastic job as per normal. We're at 63 people, 64 now. We're going to get into this, okay? Now, I have been waiting on this quite a bit. Um, people have been asking um, me to make a playlist for Hunter the Parenting. I did that yesterday. I also went through... <sighs> Wow, 700 plus videos, 728 videos, and I reassigned them into playlists based off who made them in most cases if I've reacted to a lot of their content. So if you go on the playlist tab, you're going to see, uh, you know, playlist for Remy uh, down under gaming. You're going to see playlist for Rubik's Raptor. You're going to see playlist for Laser Pig. You're going to see playlist for... Um, Baltimore, major kill. So that has been asked quite a bit if I would do that. So it took me about three and a half hours to do 
but I got through all of it. Um, and either tonight or tomorrow night, I'm going to do the live streams, and then I'm going to go into the playlists and actually put them in chronological order. If you're newer to the channel, um, I apologize in advance. When I first started this channel, I had this headset and this microphone, and this microphone sucks. Also, I had a camera that was possessed by a greater demon of Nurgle. <sighs> I must be. I must remember to keep it my with my after action reports. Yes, yes. Phyllis, they are so dumb they will try to eat each other if they think one is dead. <laughs> um. SCP-106, aka the old man, is also called Radical Larry. Mm-hmm. All right. So, press X if you're ready for Hunter the Parenting. And. Yeah, that mic is, that mic was terrible. It was absolutely horrible. Eventually, I'm going to replace these. And um, after talking with Baltimore as well as Burb of Judge, I'm going to be replacing the microphone I currently use with the one that Baltimore uses. It was rather interesting to me to find out that I use the same kind of, uh, same kind of editing software as Baltimore when it comes to recording voice lines. That was fun. SCP-106 has to be a prophet of Nurgle. Yeah. Oh, prophet, can you not do Slanesh for like 15 seconds, buddy? Uh, Jacob Finley, what's up? And Mr. Reich. Bloody Magpie. Morlo. Oh, Morello, Morello. Okay. All right. So, here we go. Pop open this. Let's get to it, guys. Let's have some fun. Now, in case you weren't paying attention, listen close. Mm -hmm. This is how it all happened. The newly fed Diablerist, known to you as Piotr, broke out of our cellar and hunted us for sport. Due to drinking two of his fellow vampires, he had gained immensely more potent vitae and had gone from a 12th generation rube to a humongous, thick, sickoid monster of the 10th generation. So stupendous he became, he managed to break through the cellar door we spent half of Marcus's weight in gold on. The one that could take a force of 2,475 Minas. Which would be about 825 of that <laughs> kilograms measurement. And definitely not 18,000 in your American caveman <laughs> measurements door. Please remember <coughs> my presence. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, next thing we know, he's somewhere in the house, invisible, and Marcus decides to jump out the window, which has him sprained both his legs, and then they're also shot with a gun, unrelated. <laughs> Our plan was to head for the carport. Prophet, you are Piotr, okay? Roof. But then I was dragged Thanks, out of the very same window Marcus had opened, and I landed on the stony barrow by the house. I was so exhausted by that, I decided to go to sleep. <laughs> when I came to, I saw Marcus had not dragged me down the road following our secret safe. Now that is cool. Sir, thank you guys, both of you. Minas was the first weight system used in Mesopotamian ancient Greece. I love finding out stuff I don't know. I love finding out stuff I don't know. That is awesome. Passage. In turn, my son-in-law then expertly tries to lure the vampire out onto our front lawn. But he does not fall for it. And that lands Marcus in especially hot water. Fortunately, the disgusting fucking dough brain did not use his full strength to kill my son. I think he wasn't trying to kill any one of us, in truth. So he could line us up in a sick... Vampiric, all-you-can-eat buffet. Worse still, I suspect he may have followed a foolhardy urge to embrace us all and bury us in a mass grave. Hmm. We may have all been damned this day, had it not been for what happened next. My son Dor's ingenuity struck him in more ways than one, as our front yard had been converted with custom, sensitive, anti-freak minds for a situation much like this one. And with a well placed shot by my beautiful, wonderful, amazing, and fantastic prodigy of a grandson, the Nosferatu known as Piotr was swiftly knocked into torpor. Mm. Not long after, 
day came to us. And Piotr's sentence was ultimately rendered by sunlight. Later today, I'm going to gather the leftovers of his conflagration. I'm planning on compressing it into a diamond to show that even the ugly of us can be made magnificent. Um, one second. Let's see, uh, what's some One true slacker. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. And, um, the banner for the Discord server is part of it. There's going to be redesigning. There's a lot of redesigning going on right now. Um... I'm having, I, I don't know who to reach out to for this. So I'm going to be trying my best to reach out uh, as far as this goes. Um, big, uh, the Emperor from 40K was around at the beginning of Civilization in Sumer. Okay, he, he was one of, he was, he, he was born in what is now modern day Antioch, which is in Turkey. And so, um... He is actually from the coastlines of modern-day Antioch, which is very close to Mesopotamia. Um, but it wouldn't be inside the area that you would call the Fertile Crescent. Um, one second. Let's see. Big boy did boy did a great job. The flesh that hates. <laughs> the Exploring Series has a good, really good video on it. You know, I really enjoyed that video. Uh, by the Exploring Series. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, SCP, the, the playlist, I made that the first video in there. Um, yes, he was. He was born in 8000 BC. And it, yeah, I know. My accent is horrible. I have flaws. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for the, the genesis point of the Emperor, you're going to be wanting to look towards the pretty much the birth of civilization um, in, I can't remember which book it was, but it was in the Horus Heresy series. Um, his name, he was named Neoth at birth. And he killed his uncle for killing his father and then set out for the city of Ur. And, um, Prophet, you cannot be the great and mighty Kevin, okay? Perhaps I'll attach it to a ring and give Marcus a spectacular wedding band. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, before that, we were arrested. That sucks. And I don't talk to cops. <laughs> All right. Good day, sir. My name is Detective Sergeant Guy Chapman. I'll be interviewing you today. Are you, uh, feeling comfortable? Your jaw situation any better? No! Yes. Uh, yes, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how about I make us some coffee? I'll be right back. You do that, detective. You best do that. Why? If there's one thing we know for a fact as hunters, it's that the vampire is everywhere. Society is led blindly by the deeply ingrained wiles of these creatures, and especially that of their most guileful sect, the Camarilla. Infiltrate every facet of human life. Industry, government, all forms of organization, our very infrastructure, even family. You can never be sure where their ears might be, and so you must always be primed to plug them. Let me set the scene. Mm. I sit inside the Norfolk Constabulary in the township of Wales next to the sea. Is Wales next to the sea? I am just about to be interviewed. My goals are to see if the police here have been compromised by the Camarilla, to not give anything away that could be seen by them as a masquerade breach, and, of course, not be arrested. Yes. Uh, this will be harder than you might expect, because I'm going in with a handicap. You're you! Right. Here you go. Kevin, was it? You can call me the great and mighty Kevin, if you like. <laughs> All my friends do. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and uh, thank you. I do love my cafe. Wow, great and mighty Kevin. That sounds fantastic. Where'd you get that title? Oh, it's a long story uh, from my accounting That's days. a real town? I'm stuck as an in joke, and it makes me feel pretty great. Blue flanking, Big D, Big D recognizes no authority above his own. Uh, GVWB 
Oh my god, thank you. I <laughs> just... My team, oh my god. Uh, you don't have to use it. It was just a funny little joke. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I always respect titles, ye great and mighty one. Mm. You better believe I'll be using it. Well, thank you, Detective Sergeant. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to have a I time really for it today, I'm sure. I really do appreciate it, GD. But, but, I must Prophet, inform you that you are that not the great mighty this. Kevin. Camera's up in the corner there. There's also these microphones picking up our voices. Oh, so, man. if you want to speak to us, I'd ask you to speak loudly and clearly so the microphones can pick you up the best they can. All right? That should not be an issue. Very good, very good, thank you. I already knew the camera and the microphone were not working. There you go. In preparation for the inevitability of an arrest, I make it a habit of sneaking into the local constabularies around Warham, and I sabotage their equipment. But why? The constabulary is incredibly small, with only a scant few officers working there at any given time, and their interrogation cells are as virgin as their wit. Breaking into a small police station is about the easiest hmm. thing you can do. Most often, <laughs> yeah, they What? They never expect their own quarters broken into. They hubris of the watchmen to think themselves unwatched. They always fall for the officer Nesto trick. <laughs> so, thanks, Nick. It's just the two of us, otherwise. Right Again, now, thank you, it's GB, WB, 14, I really do appreciate it. If you look at the watch, could you confirm? Oh. Oh, yeah. 14.34. It is indeed the number on your timepiece. <laughs> All right. Yep. Very good. So, today is the 1st of December 2006 at Norfolk Constabulary in Wells Next the Sea. Can you agree with all that? Oh, yes. Happily confirmed. I love Wales next to the sea. I might go ride the miniature steam train later while I'm here. It happens to be open this time of year. <laughs> oh, that right? Is that actually a, is that actually a town? I, I is that actually a town? Prophet you 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 need to decide. You need to make a decision. <laughs> you need to make a decision. A big adventure on the world's smallest public railway. How could I pass it up? Oh. Oh yeah, true. Rode on it with the kids last summer. They mm. adored it. It passes through some drop dead Gorgeous vistas. Beautiful. You really get to see Norfolk from another angle, you know? Oh, for sure. Did you know there's a ghost platform along the track? Extremely frightening. Oh, the abandoned that one. That is an yeah, actual yeah. town. That is incredible. There's also that Iron Fork camp. Hmm. That one's in Warham, right? Actually, that camp's pretty close to where you were today, isn't it? Oh, yes, the camp is quite close to my dear friend's home. Uh, we don't go there much. It's quite the dreary spot. Smells of death. Uh, the Iron Age Fort, that is. Death? A corpse was found there a few years ago. Some poor sod who had been missing since the 90s. Like he'd been lying there for a while and no one picked up on it. Goodness. Was it any one of you who found it? No, it was my friend's neighbor, Caracas. Oh my he god. He found him while he was doing his daily routine of digging ditches into places that do not need ditches. That's. weird. <laughs> Very interesting. But perhaps we should get on with the actual interview. What do you say? Oh, yes, sorry, I'm... sorry. Absolutely. I wouldn't want to waste any more of your time than no, this. No, 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 no. It's all right. You're all right, Kevin. That's totally fine. The mere fact he stole the identity of great and mighty Kevin is just horrible. <laughs> yes, Krakus. Oh my god. Um, Hobbit chat sometimes does just glitch out. Um, why not check the box for homicide? Yes. <laughs> I, I do believe that that was an Iron Cage reference because digging ditches for no reason. Perturabo, there you go. I'll just need to go through some more formalities with you before we can begin. Yes, yeah, good old crackers. lad, I love it! Yes! Oh, not for long. It's pub time after this. <laughs> <laughs> I love drinking! <laughs> no shit. An activity I do. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but the police in these lands are quite unlike what you see in the mainstream stories of the modern age. They seek to build a different rapport, following the peace method of interrogation. Yeah. With this, they primarily wish to disarm their suspect by making them as agreeable and comfortable as they can be. 
as those embraced in comfort after a stressful situation are far more likely to tell the truth. Hobbit, I didn't realize that, but thank you for remembering that. If you guys remember the tabletop episode where the Emperor, Magnus, and everyone else in the cast uh, played a game of uh, tabletop, Krakus was the dung thrower. Knowing this, I intentionally sink into a casual and comfortable role, exactly where the officer wants me. So they would be more likely to believe I'm being honest. Mm. This is an advanced deception technique I invented. Hey, I a technique I refer to as... Cav. Lying. <laughs> <clears throat> so, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand what I've just said? Clear as crystal. I Could you put it in games. your own words? But I shouldn't say anything weird. <laughs> <laughs> You've already failed that part. At that moment, I feared my cover was blown. I'd have to fight my way out. I prepared my hidden poison blade. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, what, a, what a relief. <laughs> All right, so that's your right to silence. Just need to have that put out. So, could I ask for your full name for the purpose of the interview? My name is Kevin Wetsworth. Mm. Do you have a middle name? Great and mighty. Malcolm. <laughs> like Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, everyone makes that joke, I can assure you. I'm not as wild and wacky as Malcolm in the middle. And I am instead a normal man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to slap a dead horse. My name's Guy, so well, I understand it when people are jokers about your name. Oh, that's completely understandable, my guy. Boy, now. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you aren't as wild oh, and wacky God. as you are on TV? Well, maybe a tad, maybe, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second, I gotta go see what's gonna happen in general, so I new profit. One second. Yes, 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 there we go. Okay, great. Um, yes, there we go, and hit nuke, and bye-bye, Prophet. Thank you for ex being exterminatist, and you have a wonderful day at Carowinds. Oh, yeah, all right, film. all right, well. Television. Could I get your birthday as well, Malcolm? Oh, sorry. Kevin? Oh, that's all right. The worms will get us all one day. The what? It's October 31st, <laughs> 1979. My birthday, I mean. Oh, that's pretty fun. That's... All Hallows' Eve. Yes, it's also National Magic Day! Magic! The day Houdini died. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Mm. So, a few more questions. First off, hey, what's geez. your address? You can go through it all. The officer went through a few more questions. Nothing noteworthy. Until eventually, the actual interview began. Mm. So... What happened this morning, in your reckoning? Oh, do you want me to go through the entire morning? Yeah. Anything you think might be relevant. Might. All right. So I've been up all night. I haven't caught any sleep yet. You might call me something of a night owl. <laughs> like me. <clears throat> I was meeting up with some old friends. We haven't met in a good while. Years and years as I've been out travelling. Yeah, I know. Big, so big, I was big. driven to the house a few days prior. We had a good time, and then... Well, it's all right. Take your time. This is where it all begins. There are already several missing persons reports in and around the area of the tunnel entrance. Since that was where I first found them, and since Sabat members are usually reported as missing people themselves, I wanted to use this to my advantage. However, I already know the tunnels are right, a particular have target of camera interest. And also, that the Anarchs have declared the area under their domain. Assuming the police are compromised, any mention of the tunnels will lead to suspicion. But I might be able to use it to throw off the scent. So, it was early in the morning, a few days... Before we continue, press X in the chat to skin profit. Days ago, uh, we took a fun little nightly road trip to an area just between Walsingham, Binham and Hindringham. Uh, right along Wells Road. We went there because, well, <laughs> I 
I'm kind of big into cold cases, and uh, I know there's been some missing persons reports in that particular area, so we just kind of... Jay Shore recap is called. Run there. I know it's irresponsible, but, it's all right. uh, but it was just such an enticing prospect. It's all right. I absolutely understand. You're just out for some excitement. You're not the only ones, let me tell you. Well, I'll be honest, it does get worse. I kind of... Uh... Yes? Well... I tried to entice the officer to presenting me with a leading question. If he is a Camarilla agent, he will know about the tunnel situation to some degree. What degree, I'm not sure. But he will want to take any possible masquerade breach into account. If he takes the bait, I will be made more certain. Take your time. I can understand if it's hard to talk about. This is how I feel someday. Take your time. I'm not sure how you're feeling. If you feel self conscious about it, that's fine. We all make mistakes. Mm. Is he biting? Mm. Yes. Mm. It was a. Well, yeah, quite a gaff on our part, I'd say. Come now, just a little more. It was all related to the missing persons report, I take it. Almost. I think so. You think so? Did you... find anyone, or...? Found anyone? What does he mean? Does he imply that he thinks the missing people might just be lost? (laughs) Or is he implying we might have found someone else there? He thinks the former, I might be safe. If not... Hmm... How will he respond? Well, yes, we did. And that was the same people who you invited home a few days ago? What? Oh, what the fuck? What kind of question is that? That we invited home? That is far too specific to be a coincidence. Mm. And that's when I realized my sons, my son-in-law, my grandson, they were all interviewed before me. Dun, dun, dun. This was the intention, but, but they were fucking up on their testimonies. <laughs> I cannot believe it. After everything I've taught them, invited home? Why would he say that? Who said that? Oh! Wait, of course, son-in-law. It must have been my son-in-law who said that. Oh, his anti-cop training was never concluded. Oh, never got past no. the Grand Theft Police Car Seminar. Of course. <laughs> they wanted to present this as having been a good-natured affair on our part. The fool, fool. I must be incredibly careful. Yes. But I need to harmonize these different testimonies. Yes, we took pity on them. Pity, you say? Of course. They, I'm sorry, the missing people. We, uh, shall I say, I recognize some of them. Or at least one of them from the missing persons posters. Yes. Noted. Noted. Just a moment before we continue. I braced myself for combat, for the SWAT teams to come pouring in, (laughs) for fists and bullets to fly. But instead, I was faced with a more powerful and evil foe. Here. Paperwork. Oh, no. This is an in... <sighs> Prophet, why... Why do you do these things? It doesn't even make any sense, Prophet. It doesn't make any sense, Prophet. <sighs> Index of many missing persons in the local area. Could you flip through... Tell us if you recognize any of these people. Thanks for the... 
But you are... My suspicions bright and aroused like an ornery male peacock. The wording of that was all wrong. The wording of that was all wrong. I flipped through the names. Most were passingly familiar to me. Ready Hunter with their salt and his preparation as even more important than firepower. However, these ones I'd expect were just victims of the Sabbat. No faces I recalled seeing elsewhere. I struggled with myself. Should I mention a name at random? Mm. No. Foolish. It could be a trap to invalidate my testimony. To boot, I didn't recognize all of them. Were some of the others vampires? I struggled. I struggled and struggled. Till by pure chance... You found someone? I came across a familiarly unfamiliar face. Pyotor. Yes? Oh. Let me take a gander. Oh. Actually, it's Peter. Peter Piotrowski. His face was warped. Handsome beyond recognition. Now, Peter Piotrowski, that is a Marvel name if I ever heard one. Poor fellow. Yeah. No wonder you were such a prick. Nosferatu typically pick people based off physical beauty. Yes. Though he had a bandana on for the most part. I recognize the hair, the eyes, the name. Yes. Yes, he was there that night. And with no body to disprove my story, True there should be alibi that. enough for any Camarilla constabularies. Interesting. Mm. So, you found this man, Peter Piotrowski, and a few others that you do not recognize. Would that be accurate? Yes. Yes. They had formed into a group and approached us in the thicket. They said they'd just managed to escape some strange captors, begged us for help. Mm. They didn't go into much detail, but how could we refuse? Little did we know, they weren't quite what they seemed. Hmm. That sounds pretty incredible. Huh. You're telling me. Did he buy it? Yes, Abbott. Had I already contradicted the family story? Hmm. And how many were they? Four. Right. Right. Okay, so just to get this straight, okay. you found four people lost in the woods... You thought you recognized them, or at least one of them, from missing persons. Loyal Kev, the reason that the Nosferatu pick fairly attractive people to turn is because the Nosferatu, the, the curse of their embrace is essentially what happens to them in appearance. And they do it because the loss is more tragic. And, well, they, they say they do it because the loss is more tragic, but really what it boils down to is jealousy, and they just want to ruin something beautiful. And that's why they do it. Um, it's primarily to just strip away uh, some physical beauty for pure spite. Report, and you brought them back to your place. Is that all correct so far? An accurate report, Detective Sergeant. Yes. Uh, perhaps you should consider a career in court stenography. Do it. <laughs> Maybe when my legs give in, I'll consider it. Mm. I'll smash them in with a pipe wrench if you continue to nail me like this. <laughs> Fuck. What other testimonies had the family given? All right. So, let me have a think about this, because I have a couple of questions. Um... Damn. Fairless, all the vampire clans are cursed all in some way or The most divergent one. The rest, without doubt, told him that bringing them back was an involuntary affair. Oh, he is too nice. He agreed with his testimony like this. It isn't going to be enough. Perhaps I'm going too wild with the story. The lack of collaboration could undo me here. It's three against two. There is a clear divergence that cannot be reconciled. Unless... All right, so, first off, what happened on the way back to the house? Well, wait. There is an out here. Marcus. Marcus. Marcus, I put my faith in you, son. 
Into your hands I commit my spirit! <laughs> I didn't interact with them much, but I know they were a bit weird towards two of us from the beginning. Uh, the father, Dor, and his son, if you know them. Yep, sure. I didn't catch on to it very early, but I think those thugs might have been threatening them from the onset. He, Dor, was the one driving, you see. The rest of us didn't really think about it, or as far as I know, at least. Then drive like it was the wacky races off the <laughs> road into the bushes and everything. It was crazy. With this, Prophet. we can harmonize no. the accounts. As long as Marcus did this correctly. Hmm. All right. So what happened when you got home? Yes! He bought it! Marcus, beautiful boy! He knows his brother, he knows his nephew, and of course he knows his fiance! Marcus has reconciled this very testimony in much the same way as his father. I'm not the only one in this. We will harmonize these accounts together! Mm. Sorry, uh, when we got home? Yes. That's when it all went to hell, of course. This is the harder part. There are many specifics in this part of the story. I yes. realized I was traipsing into a minefield, much like the one on our front lawn. Yes! I needed to be specific, but not specific enough to contradict the other's testimonies. Yep. Marcus might be brash, but the lad is a genius. No doubt he'd gone for an approach not dissimilar to my own. Guys, remember, weaponized front lawns are the way to go. Dora, on the other hand, he's precise, calculating, with the creativity Extra of a bomb sea profit. cucumber. If anyone gave exact information, it would be him. My darling son-in-law has no doubt continued to be his typical, friendly, and accommodating self, for better or worse. Okay, seriously, if you think that Prophet is a reincarnation of Ian Watson's weird side, excellent chat. And boy, 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 I love my grandson. I'm sorry. Oh. Humana, humana, Brian Cranston. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, Malcolm in the middle. Sorry, let's s stay on topic, though. You invited the missing Jeez. people into your nice house. Nice reference there. Then what happened? My presumptions arrayed. I focused on one thing. If this officer was with the Camarilla, he would already know the survivors were vampires. If that were the case, he'd no, be looking for the slightest it. hint that we were aware of that. Which would essentially mark us for death. Yes. Sorry, things went very fast. At first we were socializing. They had come in from the cold. I was worried sick about them. It seemed like they had the most incredible story. And eventually that story proved too good to be true. They had guns. Ooh. They began threatening us. <gasps> what kind of guns? I'm not much of a hunter. I couldn't say the exact kind. A clear lie, by the way. I am actually the best hunter probably <laughs> in the world. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I believe it was a shotgun. It could have been a rifle. I also think I saw some pistols. I see, I see. And was there anything else? By God, yes. They held us at gunpoint, handed us mines, explosives, and forced us to plant them in our front lawn. To me, bringing the mine view into things was a no-brainer. Yes. If anyone mentioned anything, it'd be that. I just had to bring the narrative around in a way that deflected blame. <gasps> and where were these explosives found? On the property? The property? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, look, I need you to be honest. You know, mm. I need the clearest account possible. And I need to know, where were the explosives from? Were they owned by your friends? No, no! Good heavens, no! How could you even say that? Kevin, listen. My family, my good friends. Yes. Who are like family, that is. Yes. And I get fucking held at gunpoint. Punch, kicked, and forced into traumatizing labor, including my friend's very small son, who I call my grandson, even though I'm 47 years old. You ask if the mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
for hours? <laughs> My apologies, Kevin. I understand your experience was traumatic. <laughs> You're right. I'm feeling loads of trauma. I'm a goddamn traumaniac, but not as manic as those fuckers. Sorry? The fuckers. Fuckers. Hell's fuckers. Have you heard of them? Oh, oh my oh, god. Of course. This was the beginning of my counterattack. Yes! As you're no doubt aware, our dearest Bruja anti tribu Shitbeard, was a member <laughs> of the Fuckers from Hell, also known as the Tales Fuckers. His jacket claimed this, at least, and that's all that matters. Yes. That county spanning biker brigade is a known Sabat affiliate. They have a pension for embracing Romania. bikers, truckers, and other hard men of the road. They also are known for their violent encounters with Anarch, Camarilla, and law enforcement alike. Were they involved in the incident? Right, so... One of them made mention of that. Mm. They said to me, Listen up, you goddamn swamp shrew! Dig the ditch, and if you're lucky, hell's fuckers won't put you in it! In that same accent? That's right, an American accent. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Within his skull, I could already hear the gears turning. Does he think this is a new stage in the Sabbat Crusade? Mm. Perhaps he's thinking we're good. Rare. If the Sabbat armor. Okay, let me let me clear that up right now, Jackson. How do I like my steak? And I mean, I like my steak barely. And I mean barely dead. I mean, when I stick my fork into it, I want the meat to flinch. Bray had moved in so close, he'd need to alert his masters. <sighs> All right. Hey, Alvarez. Apologies for my temper Richard. flaring. <clears throat> what? Oh, uh, it's uh, quite all right. Tense situation. Weird situation. Yes. It really is weird. Why commandeer a random house? I guess it's like they say. You never expect the level of criminality that goes entirely unaccounted for outside of cities. Mm. But uh, it's fine. Oh, well, not really, but... My uncle used to say, bring it to the table on a rope, wipe its ass, then hit it with a flamethrower and let it fall on the plate. That's how he likes steak. Was there anything else? Did you happen to overhear anything? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, right. yes there is something. We're all the same. That man, the one with the drum. Right. The American. Yes, him. I heard him mention there was a dispute with some rival gang. Like a, an, an anarchist gang? That should hit the spot. Medium rare is good, too. Uh, <coughs> Did they say anything about that gang? They would most likely be luring them to our house. Hence, you know, the minefield. Mm. And we just did it, of course, hoping we'd be spared. But then, just before dawn, more bikers showed up and they just drove off with them. After that, the alarm finally went off and called the police. But, uh, I don't know. Perhaps they were expecting that. Who don't knows? worry about that, sir. We'll take it from here. Mm. Thank goodness. That's a load off my shoulders. I'm sure. Just a few more questions, Profit. if you don't mind. Stop right being you. Stop I being love you. talking to cops. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Right. So, <laughs> we wanted to ask about the car in the carport. The car? Yes. Do you know what happened to it? Uh, I do not. Okay, that's fine. Do you know anything about the pit in front of the car at the carport? What? Pit? What? Who's been digging pits without me? <laughs> Must have been Piotr's doing somehow. Or was Krakus skulking around the property again? <clears throat> Could you tell me what happened to the car? I've not seen or heard anything. Well, it looks like it had somehow been driven into the carport entrance, the one into the house, that is. But it's flipped horizontally with the uh, car door leading into the house, if you can visualize it. No. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah. It almost looks like it's been thrown or something. I'm looking. What? Yeah, it's weird. And then there's that pit, which is... Exactly outside the car. Do you know if any of you dug that? Um. What the fuck is this now? <laughs> like it's been thrown or something? I assume Piotr threw my son in law's runabout. That would be a given to anyone even vaguely familiar with vampire society. Why would he give me this? Mm. Why would he tell me it looks like it was thrown? Is he being coy? Mm. Does he already know I'm in the know? Ah. Or did someone else say it? It can't be that one of the others actually said that it was thrown, or that it looks like it was thrown. Or could they? Is he checking for masquerade breaches? Or does he just say it like that because he genuinely thinks it looks like it was thrown? Yeah, Is he, he was, genuinely he was looking sleeping. for answers? Why would he say it like that if he was? Why would he say it like that if he wasn't? That would be a dead giveaway. Is he not Camarilla after all? Oh, what the fuck? I'm second guessing myself. I'm not sure if any one of us dug that pit. Uh, I honestly have no clue. This could have happened whilst I was burying mines. Or it could have happened when I was uh, unconscious. Could you tell me a bit about how that happened? Mm. 
This should be easier. Yes. There cannot be many contradictions in our testimonies. And after this, I'm out. It's up to everyone else past this point. I can count on Marcus saying that he didn't jump out the window. And the other three certainly would know this. Sure. So... The red-headed one, Marcus. He was let go out the window from the second floor. When he landed, he sprained both his legs. Absolutely horrid. Brutal. I hate gravity. Oh, and then they shot his legs with a gun, because that was only a natural part of their M.O. as fuckers. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Oh. Yes. Uh, then, of course, I was next. I was let go, and I fell onto the rocky barrow next to our house, and that's how I got this brand new Campbell jawline. No. Nice. Oh, I love Evil Dead. He admits it! He loves the Evil Dead! The I love the Evil Dead too. Evil Dead Vampire! It's just a movie film. <laughs> yeah, I love a movie! Yeah, you know, I absolutely movie. agree. But, sorry, I didn't mean to derail the conversation. <laughs> so, anyway, Marcus was shot in the legs. Mm -hmm. How were you dragged out the window? Did anyone in particular drag you? Yeah, well, he, uh, wait. Dragged? Who said dragged? Mm. I did not say I was dragged out. Sorry, uh, um, uh, fuck. By dragged out? Does he mean dragged to the window and thrown out? Or does he mean grabbed by a hand and dragged outside? Mm. Oh god, this is too specific to be a coincidence. Who? Who said I was dragged out the window? Door would be more simple in his approach. Marcus would not be that specific. Dear and son-in-law knows not to mention something like that. Boy. Boy, no! Boy chose the wrong word! Oh no! Yeah, so it was one of the bikers, not sure which. I just kind of fell out and landed down on a stone, so... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But how did you exit the window? Oh, what the fuck is this? This is some serious probing. Should <laughs> I, I say, right, more if I even approach the truth, that would sound ridiculous enough to be seen as a serious indictment towards my legitimacy. At worst, it could be seen as a masquerade breach. Mm. Boy's innocent blunder might be enough to warrant our destruction. Damn my beautiful, sweet, and precious, perfect grandchild! Damn him! Ah, uh, <laughs> right. Don't so blame boy. This was quite the horrifying moment. He's not going to lie. Went by very fast, but... As Marcus was thrown out the window, he actually grabbed onto me midair and... Wait, like, he's a big lad, and so, uh... I tried to stop his fall, gripping at the windowsill. Ooh. But when the rest of those thugs lifted my legs and pushed me out, uh, we both fell and I smashed my jaw in. Oh. All right. All right. Was that enough? No. So, just to clear this up, you were upstairs at this stage. Mm -hmm. Marcus was thrown out the window by the thugs. Yeah. And then you, approaching the window and standing by it, was grabbed by Marcus. You were dragged out by him and fell down too, with the thugs helping by destabilizing you. Could you confirm? Shit. <laughs> Did anyone else bring up the time it took between Marcus falling and me falling? Did anyone say no it took a few tell. minutes before I too was thrown out? If anyone has, it's a contradiction clear as day. Mm. Damn it. Fuck. I cannot correct this. Could you? Mm. Yes, that is correct. All right. And just to clarify, how many of the thugs helped force you out the window? I don't know. No and idea. And do you know what happened immediately after that at all? I do not. Okay. Let me write this up real quick. What? Why? Why isn't he bringing up the time? He could have nailed me right there. Mm -hmm. If he asked how much time it took between us falling, anything of the sort, a clear contradiction would immediately become apparent. Yes. That's what he wants, isn't it? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Marcus! 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 He said the same exact thing I did! He covered it up just like I did! He did it! He strengthened our testimony yet again! Mm. He reinforced it with alloys as strong as his massive shoulders and flowing radiant hair! <laughs> oh, I love that boy! You seem like you're in a good mood. 
Oh, what? Oh, no! <laughs> Something on your mind, Gav? Oh, no, I was just thinking of how thankful I am that everyone survived. You know, after I was knocked out, the last thought I had was of inextric- Hey, Prophet, be a heretic. Just be a heretic, Prophet. Be the worst heretic you can possibly heretic. horror, but also a pure, unflinching trust. It was like a force. I knew the others would make it. I knew they would get us out of that mess, even without me. And, and they did. Mm. Wow. I'm sure you helped in your own little way. So, could you tell me what happened in the cell? Uh-oh. Fuck! <laughs> they searched the house! I dearly hoped they wouldn't have. What do I do here? This is the most damning part yet. What have the others said here? There are two corpses down there. It's covered in blood. There are cameras and cages. It looks like a literal murder dungeon. Marcus does, at the very least, not record anything for posterity. But... I... The cellar? I wasn't aware they went down there. Okay. Okay. So, you didn't see or hear anything from down there? <laughs> I don't think so, no. You didn't watch the live feed on the computer? Oh. <laughs> the live feed? You mean with the camera they have down there? So you know there is a camera down there? Yes, it's... Marcus is... Uh... Yes? Fun dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> No. Just no. You elaborate? Does no. You have to? <laughs> I'm sorry. There is a reason why we need you to elaborate on this. Look, this is too much for me. It is fucked up sex seller, okay? <laughs> he thinks I don't know about it. I know about it, and I hate it. it makes me want to vomit and die. <laughs> it's this thing he and his partner got started up, and, you know, that's their prerogative. I, I support their relationship totally, but... The things I've seen down there. Oh! What kind of things? Oh, come on! Rodeo cowboys. What? Several clowns. I Small plastic army men! By God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's enough. New profit. Press X. New profit. Those thugs found it. I can't believe what their reaction was. Okay. Sorry. Uh, writing that uh, down. Could you explain what else exactly is down there? Um. Well, some specially built cages. A sign that says something about not screaming. I think there's a horse whip serving double duty sometimes, but Ugh. most of his stash is up in their room. You know. His figures. Right. The truest curse of being a father is simply knowing too much. Like how much he spent on those miniatures of goodness. <laughs> I should steal them next time. Mm. Do you know if the cages were used for anything else? Not as far as I know, no. Right. Right. Do you know two persons by the name of Richard Porter and Dave McGlow? I do not! <laughs> well, hold on. Richard Porter and Dave McGlow. These must be the names of Shitbeard and Ape Boy. They must have found their real identities so soon. Missing people mm. for certain. Here's my chance. Yes. Actually, I think I do. Or one of them, at least. And what's your relation to them? Didn't that 
Dave McClough guy disappear a few months ago? I think I read about it in a missing persons report. Uh, why? Are, are they connected to the case? They were found in the cellar. Oh, really? Were they part of the gang? Are they arrested? We found them dead. <laughs> what? What? Like, they were killed? Oh, no. How? We're still looking into it. But it looks like they died a time ago. More than five years ago in the case of Richard Porter. What? Dave McGlow is badly mutilated. He was hard to ID. What? They just put the corpses of some dead people down there? We do not know the situation. Oh. I think I made it. Shipbeard had the Hell's Fuckers logo emblazoned on his jacket. <clears throat> and the corpses, and they found the jacket. We will not take that as Jackson, a Jackson, don't give, the don't give him ammo. The corpses for five plus years. Don't touch the that with the corpses wrapped up in are probably fresher than the corpse itself. When a vampire faces final death, the body rapidly degenerates to the state the corpse would have been at had they died the day of their embrace. Mm. To someone naive, Shitbeard looks like he's been dead for a long, long time. Yes. But his clothes, they're brand new in comparison. In addition, the blood, it will still be fresh. This will look like a setup. Why would we dig down mines in our own front lawn, so illegal firearms, and dress up corpses in our cellar? No matter how you cut it, there was a struggle in our home and it looks the part. They found us badly hurt, abused. We are far beyond innocent in the world of the mortal. Yes. And be he Camarilla. Mm. <laughs> Why, you'd already know what the corpses were. It would look exactly like it was, even fighting between support members. Mm. We should be in the clear. All righty. So... I have a few more questions, then we will conclude for today. You good with that? We did it! Certainly. Do you know how the mines were detonated? I do not. Right. Right. Do you know where the thugs disappeared? I truly have no clue. Right. Could you describe the character of each of the thugs? You can start off with whichever one you like. Oh, sure. Well, I remember one being quite skinny, black as stripy. We continued on with the interview for a brief moment longer, but it wasn't long until I had made it unscathed through the rest of the questions. In retrospect, it was obvious to keep himself anonymous. And then there was this fucking weirdo with a wizard hat. Can you believe it? Where is that? And you've not even declared registered source. Right. So, right. <laughs> in conclusion, let me just clarify your story. You picked up a group of individuals in seeming duress. They turned out to be individuals with violent intent that forced the family to conduct dangerous activities, such as burying mines under Not the threat you, of death. You were assaulted in the process, and the individuals are still on free foot. You were not aware of the situation with the corpses, the car, the pit, nor the time of the mines detonating or the departure of the suspects. Would you confirm this as a fair summation? Yes. Very good. <laughs> so, this interview is now concluded at the time of... 15.40 on the 1st of December, 2006. If you... Yes, um, Dominique... Uh, the pug head by the window? No, I have not. Um, also, that is that that pug there was um, handmade from Etsy. I should have named them by now, but I'm an idiot. You look. Can you confirm that for the recording? If the clock speaks true, then so it is. Ah. Please just say yes or no. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. Thank you very much for your time. You're now free to go. Thank you very much, Detective. Sorry, what was that? Detective? <laughs> I have had a time of it, just as you said. <laughs> Glad to hear it, Guff. Glad to hear it. And I no, pray I that Jordan heals up right quick. Oh, I'm sure it will. Could have gone much worse, that. Must have been your guardian angel or something. Well, if you believe in that kind of thing. Uh, I'm a bit of a sceptic, personally. Oh, really? Yes. I definitely don't believe in Bigfoot. 
I like <laughs> ghosts and supernatural stuff and all that, but I don't know. How would that stuff even work? I feel like science would have caught on to there being just this whole other spectrum of matter and energy just kind of floating around old forests and manors uh, by now. <laughs> Bingo bongo. All right. Yeah, or in tunnels or whatever. Uh, you know. Tunnels? Oh, shit, but look at the time. It's off to the pub. No fucking way. I've got to go myself. It's the weekend, sir. No one has told him of the tunnels. I know no one has told him of the tunnels, right? Does your great and mighty one need escorting out? Uh? He is an agent. There's no doubt about it now. He knew about them all along. He screwed up. No, that won't be necessary. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, such a scatterbrain. I've got one final question, actually, but quite unrelated. Okay. Uh, go right ahead. Do you know a Caitlin Wetsworth? Yes. M my mother. Your sister. Fuck! She's reported you as missing multiple times. But you've been reported as accounted for now, eh? You even said that you were out travelling, weren't you? But she's kept up with the reports. Maybe you should look into that. Damnation! Letting oh. a loose end fall like that so close to the end. I... I made a mistake. Yes! No. Big D doesn't make mistakes. Yes. Big D can't be defeated. Yes. Not by some low-down country detective. Not by all the vampires in the world. Yes. Ah, uh, detective. <laughs> uh, yeah? It's been a while, hasn't it? Since last you had your fill. Ah. Uh. Uh <laughs> Have no fear, detective. You've passed. Passed? What? You followed the first tradition without fear. <laughs> the regent of Great Yarmouth congratulates you. Come to the house for your next assignment. You are expecting. What? <laughs> oh, and don't be so gauche as to mention this to the others. It simply won't do. But, but, what, what should my report say? Report well, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I'm sure this is buried as quickly and quietly as possible. I will show myself. Uh, it won't work. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. What? And then I strutted out in the most immodest way I possibly could to shed any doubt that I was mortal for that poor little detective. Oh my god. And so our police adventure had come to a close, and we were not indicted. Oh, Neither by wow. the law, nor by the Camarilla. Yes. That was a roller coaster of emotion. Yes! Likes of which I have not felt since I last rode an actual roller coaster. Ah. Speak words, and the words are truth, Kevin. You should have murked that guy, though. Yeah. Murked? Uh, rubbed out. Yeah. Uh, made past tense. Oh, uh. forward. Mm -hmm. You should have killed him. Now that, obviously, I had considered. Is this Malkador? But you know how cops get. You ice one corrupt police chief, all of a sudden, oh, you have to leave the country now. <laughs> Which country did this happen? That's not the point, I'm Bangladesh. <laughs> just one question. Just one? I have many, but I'm focusing on the cop thing. You never explained why you used my name during the interrogation. Oh, I just needed an unused identity in the area. I already had your license, so I felt it worked. That makes zero sense. Well, it's also so I can help you sell your apartment. There you go. I'm you now. Really? You would do that? For sure. But what if Smurples? Oh. Well... Do not sigh. He is a burden to no one. Uh, we'll take him in. A uh, boy has always wanted a familiar of sorts. Yes. An excellent reward for capping Pewter. Oh. Has he taken care of a pet before? He has, but he's a clever lad. I'm sure he'll manage. I'll write a list of his every want and need. You will not have to think about anything. Will everyone else be nice to him, though? 
I don't want to leave him in the hands of a lone child with gun interests. Uh, I'll be frank, Kevin. I do not like cats. That confirms it. You are a demon. Just as I think. Well, just for you. I will be injecting toxoplasmosis into my brainstem later today to ensure I do not kick him into a chimney. <laughs> if you so much as pull his tail, I will enter your house and explode! Oh, the take days to rinse up. If I have no. a question, though, isn't using my name in this manner incredibly fucking irrational? Won't it give up your cover? <laughs> oh, Kevin. You might be able to fool your pack mates, but me? Mm. You weren't known as Kevin nor Kevin Wetsworth when you were with the Camarilla, were you? Uh, how would you know this? I know more of your old master than you know yourself. I know that after death, you were stripped of your old name, burned away, and given a new one. An alias defined by the regent herself to meld you into a new existence. As far as the Camarilla is concerned, you have no name past the one they gave you. Kevin Wetworth is a dead man. Yeah. But that is a corpse you never buried. You did not fully let go of your old name, as we know, and you readopted it as soon as you gained standing within the Sabbat. Isn't that right? No! I am not telling you my shitty Camarilla roleplay name. You need to! It is integral to our survival! Do it! Well, you can either tell me that, or you can tell me what your hell's fuckers packmates called you before you gained enough respect to be called Kevin. You had a name like Ape Boy or Shitbeard too, didn't you? You present me with a two-pronged road. No. One leads to hell, and the other also leads to hell. Choose wisely. But Choose. But you fool that you are. You do not realize that I can simply walk off the fucking road. Oh. Give me names. It's Herbertus, isn't it? What in the weed? Oh, yeah, the cup is here now. Also, <laughs> oh, so Herbertus? <laughs> my worst name in front of fucking Dee Dee. That's literally the only name I know you, boy. How do you know it? And what the fuck are you doing here? And who are you? Uh, I was invited here. I'm Detective Sergeant Guy Chapman. I'm also a ghoul of the Lady Regent. Ah. I know you from the Chantry. Or, well... I haven't seen you in a few years, maybe? Mm. I just know you were the Chantry's stockbroker or something. Accountant! Mm. I curse you! I curse you with balls fall off disease! Oh. I give you lupus, not the werewolf one! <laughs> you just have a wasting disease! No, now. Kevin! Do not castrate that man! Do it! He's here for his new assignment. Yeah, so, as I said, I'm a ghoul. I'm one of the two regulars at the constabulary in Wells, Texas Sea, but... A spit far to Great Yarmouth, and the bond between me and the region hasn't been renewed in like eight months. Oh God, Joshua, I'm no! I'm obviously not too picky anymore. I just want it renewed. Never trust a traitor, not even when you create. Mm. Except for me, trust me in all circumstances. Mm. I'll be honest, Herbie. I want your blood. What? What? You want to be blood bonded by me, Herbie? Herbie, I'm dying. Herbie, I've been experiencing painful withdrawals for a long time now. I what is with the saxophone music? Come on, man. Just no. Just no. Come on. And I know you're one of hers, so it should fix me up just fine. No! No, I get sippy, not vice reversa. <laughs> and you, fool! You are so lost in your sauce, you don't know what you do! Nonsense. I love being bloodbound. That is the point! D! This is a wicked and vile thing you ask. It's yeah. nothing of the sort. You say this, ignorant of the horrors of the blood bond. I have killed many in the Sabbat, but this is one line I shall not cross. Mm. Please. I don't care what silly name you use. I will never ghoul you. <sighs> Herbie, I have killed... No, this just sounds like porn music, Wolf Boy. And hey, welcome back, bud. It's been a while since I've seen you and talked to you. Six men in service to the Regent. Two of them with my teeth. I recently injected contraband heroin into my system just to simulate the thrill of vampire blood. Ah. It didn't even compare. No. You being freaky will not convince me. <laughs> I, I don't think you understand. I'm, I am a freak. Yes. I will kill again. There you go. And I will literally blow up a constabulary for even the smallest possible pint of vitae. Yeah. If you don't give me what I want, 
I might just try to take it. And if I try to take it, you'll both probably kill me. Yeah, that's so true. you have my blood on your hands. And quite frankly, I'm so desperate for a fix, I don't really give a fuck. What? Uh, <laughs> why? Why would you want to do anything of the sort when you're so close to being able to just sever it? Because I'm a hopeless addict and I like being a ghoul. Hey, there you go. It's a nice deal. I can lift my kids above my shoulders no matter how old they get. I'm going to still be doing it when they're 30, is my goal. I just need to get a better master. That's all. That's all? You have kids? That is fucking terrible. Let me spell it out for you. Blood bonds are slay Slavery. Slavery. In this case, it's more like indentured servitude. Okay, wow. How marginally better is that? <laughs> well, I'm already a public servant, so I guess I'm just used to it. Wow. Kevin, this man is offering his services to us. His loyalty lies with the highest bidder. And you are a far better source of vitae than that hateful regent. Yes. yes. Come it's on, Kevin. Immoral. What? You are in the subbot! <laughs> I have lines I do not cross that I drew with my own free will, you fucking river troll! If you don't ghoul him, he will slink back to the regent. Mm. The regent will move on the prince of our activities, and we will all be blood hunted! Or he could get over his own sick addiction? Mm. <laughs> over your dead body. <laughs> Man, what a weirdo you are! If we ghoul him, which we are doing consensually, I might add, we could uh, easily. I don't Hair, it's gross! It's not that bad once you do it a couple of times. Oh Besides, you drink blood too, don't you? You get it. I only get drink it. blood because I have to. You inject blood like it's crack! You don't <laughs> inject crack, Kevin! You fucking office worker! You can! You can. You've never unlived in Yarmouth! You don't understand! He's got a point. Kevin, listen. With a detective on our side, we will have a pawn within the Norfolk Police Force. Mm -hmm. Do you know how valuable that is? With his help, we could creep closer to the machinations of the Camarilla than we ever could otherwise. Mm. I also make some mean jellied eels. We must have <laughs> But, Kevin, think of our future. Uh... With his help, we could further our goals. In your new redemptionist cause, Ooh. you could use this to set free the worthy of your kind before the new moon comes. Ugh. Wow. Are you guys like a cult or something? Probably. We are entirely secular in our orthodoxy, let me assure you. Well, mm. neat. Come now, Kevin. I won't force you. Annie Sleep says, I think Guy and Prophet are the same. Yes, they, they sound exactly the same. I know it's a difficult decision. <laughs> Fine. Just hand me the nicest knife you have, and I will stab my wrist open. Fantastic. Uh, let's use this. Uh, no, wait. This one's poison. Uh, no. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, champion death magics. Uh, oh, I have some restored Iron Age cutlery lying around here somewhere. None of that I sinny shit. I've seen enough Boudicca roleplay to last for a lifetime at the Regent's Chantry. Ugh. <sighs> If you guys don't know who Boudica is, Boudica is like the most badass female in history, just saying. D did you know she loves talking about how unshaven her vagina is? I mean- And I did not know Boudica was, um, a vampire. Good lord! Oh, of course. Uh, You're lucky I happen to have uh, this glue <laughs> flying around or you'd be shit hot of life. Good. Give. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, your pack is dead. I, I told you that, right? Yep. How are you feeling about that? I mean, Coulomb's making me want to stab you 40 times, but it also feels like I've dumped my way out of a psycho polycule. Hey, so I'm Sofa. feeling like hitting the town Sofa. and injecting some I'm crack. Idiot. Very sexy, Kevin. Ugh. You know, they were all bastards. But I liked those bastards. Mm. Almost as much as I hated those bastards. Mm. Would you like to take a moment? No, I'd really like to not dwell on it at all, in fact. Makes me almost glad to see Officer Bumfuck here. Uh, Chapman. No! And what of your, uh, <laughs> sister? Uh, I'll... look into it. Very good. Right, so, I've got a question. Okay. I thought you were Kevin. <laughs> no! I am Big D! Mm. So, you were just... lying? Yes. Well, uh... Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Damn. What else did you lie about? Everything. What? <laughs> uh, well, the people we found were actually vampires. Uh, we actually took them hostage, mm -hmm. and we actually planted those mines. We mm -hmm. owned them, and I fell out of the window on purpose because I was here. Hello, I am hostage number four. <laughs> Blimey. That kind of sucks. Yeah. I'm a terrible detective. Oh, come on, you did just fine. Yeah, don't be terrible Besides, yourself. you're a degenerate ghoul whose brain is polluted with vampire sludge. Of course you couldn't best my indomitable intellect. You calling someone a degenerate is very... Bring your next words carefully. <laughs> okay, consider this. Fuck you. Honestly, I... <laughs> <laughs> British man on your license into a giant Middle Eastern meat slab? It read like an online ad and it distracted me from the whole interview. Yeah, just insult your new master. That's a surefire way to get yourself not eaten. Oh, I'm sure we will get along just fine. Now, <laughs> let us go ride the miniature steam locomotive. Ho! All right. But I need to be heading home to the kids soon, so maybe we should do the ghouling thing first. Yeah, well, I need to get home to my horse, and you don't see me stressing out about it. I want horse. to ride the funny little train. But blood. We can drink blood on the train. Come on, let us go. Oh, well, bring me crazy straw. Oh, wait, did you the even crazy check straw? It was open? We will commandeer it. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, we even. Shut up. Go, 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 go! Storm the charge! Go, go! <laughs> what the hell? You have listened to an audio drama by Ogre Popinang, with voice work by Speaker D as Big D, Stellar Elite. As Detective Sergeant Guy yes. Chapman and Arendil as Kevin. This was artwork by Rude Rubicante, Off Hawker, and Eliphas. Soundtrack mm. by Macker. Sound composition by Alpha Booza. Mixing by Stringstorm. Yeah, good job. Video composition by Alpha Booza. With lead writers Speaker D and Alpha Booza. Special thanks to Blessed for not working on this script. <laughs> Portions of the materials are the copyrights and trademarks of Paradox Interactive AB and are used with permission. Yes. All rights reserved. For more information, please visit worldofdarkness.com. Visit patreon.com slash alphabooza for updates every other week. Thank you for listening and good evening. Yes. And now... It's time for our weekly dose of horror. Thanks to Call the Deranged. Here we go. So we got less than a, we got like a minute and a half left. There's going to be something. Call is Call is a whole trip. <laughs> now that you boy, you running away from your scary kid <laughs> grandfather. Yeah! <laughs> they were running, all right, and she was, she, she was running after them with her big, big fucking knife, boy. Yeah, she was running after them with her knife, and yeah, they, they ran into her forest, and they fell off a cliff, you see. And behind them, as they looked up, they saw Grandmother. She dropped her knife. And she picked her up a crossbow, crossbow. Her, her big freaking fair crossbow. And she ran down, mm -hmm. and she killed one of the brothers. Now there was only one left, and he was cornered. <laughs> Why is he the way that he is? Can anybody explain that to me for like any length of time? Just somebody explain that to me. Okay.
That was Big D's guide to avoiding arrest. Oh my god. Ugh. It was outstanding. It was exactly what I expected. I love this kind of stuff. Um, Carl was kicked out of the world leaders for being too crazy. That is pretty much the most accurate statement I've ever heard in my life. Carl is just nuts. I love anything that Carl's in. I love any time he voice acts, any role that he does, I love it. He, his humor is just right on point for me. Um, let's see. I feel like I need whatever Carl takes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Carl the Range VTuber is a great old lady. <laughs> Carl is the soul of Conrad. He's in tune with his skill set. <laughs> Alright. So, that was fun. Now, I'm going to be setting up another live stream soon. And this is just going to be pretty much just for, like, shorts and stuff like that. Going to have some fun watching some shorts. Um, I don't know if I'm going to lock the shorts channel when I'm doing it. Just because the last time I did a live stream that involved shorts, the shorts channel, instead of shrinking, tripled. It was not exactly the good look that I was looking for. Hobbit, thank you. Carl is blonde beyond any form of explanation. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Um, all Garsman Party, I'm going to wait until this weekend. So... As of right now, as of Tuesday, um, the uh, the vote is still pretty close with the All Guardsman Party. If you guys do not know, I put uh, a poll up for the All Guardsman Party to basically um, which one I'm going to do: Tail Worlds or Neckbeardia. As of the last time I checked, uh, Tail World was in the lead. Andre, thank you for joining. Thank you guys. Thank you guys all for joining. If you got other things to do, I'll catch you guys next time. Um, Carl is literally Satan in this universe. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna close the poll for All Guardsman Party on uh, Friday. And um, yet, yeah, Predictor, uh, the next part of the Commissar story is gonna be coming out legitimately. Um, there's a, I have a voice actor right now that's sending me a line, and as soon as that one line gets put in, I'm going to render the. I'm going to go ahead and render it. Um, stay thirsty, sleep, and failures. I, I'm glad to hear that, but I'm glad to hear that you know I made the day a little bit better for you. Um, another wonderful stream. Hey, you guys make it wonderful. I love all the banter back and forth. I love the fact that I nuke Prophet at least 20 times per stream. By the way, X in the chat to nuke Prophet for the fourth time this stream, or fifth, I don't care. Um, yeah, uh, Anonymous, if you look under the community tab, there was a poll for the next series. We came to the end of uh, Star Wars vs. 40K. And when we came to the end of Star Wars vs. 40K, when we started getting close to it, I went ahead and put up a put up a thing for um, uh, basically what is going to be the next, what is going to be the next one, next series that we start on. And uh, All Guardsman Party won by it had 76 percent of the vote. I think it was ridiculous the amount of votes that it had. Um, and now we're working, we're looking at which one I'm going to watch because there are several different versions. Let me scroll up a little bit. Uh, Bloody Magpie, I'm glad that you could join us. I'm glad that you could join us. It was fun. Um, let's see. Morello. Morello? Hey, I I actually, enjoy, I actually enjoy being able to talk to you guys when I'm doing this. Uh, that's the reason I'm streaming more. Um, no, not a meta pole or wood pole. Um, your theory is Conrad is Con uh, Carl is Conrad Curse? <laughs> Nick, <laughs> thanks for the tip. We need more news. Yes. Thank you to everybody that uh, did some super chats today. Um, it was extremely appreciated. You don't have to do that, but I massively appreciate it. Um, see you later, Shane. Please, n just Shane, why do you do these things? Why did you? Oh my God! Hold on a second. Hold oh, wait, wait, wait. Wolf, you want to you want to see what Shane has done to me? Hold on a second. I will show you what Shane has done to me. Hold on a second. Oh, my God! Like when I first saw this, I literally. Oh God! It's it's horrible. Oh. Uh, one second. Oh. 
Hold on. You want to see pure horror? Like this. This is why. This is why I have anger issues. This crap right here is why I have anger issues. Jesus. I hate you. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to play it because this thing will copyright hit in a second. This is me and my apparent elder girlfriend singing I Love You Baby. And um, no, no, just, just I'm going to mute this and just let this, just, um, this is why I have anger issues. This is why all my rage gets taken out on stuff. This is so horrible. It's, it, it, it hurts my heart to see this. It hurts my heart in many ways to see this. Oh, Wolf Boy, it is so weird that you dropped by today. Um, if you guys do not know, Wolf Boy is his recommendation and stuff like that was the genesis of me starting to do more lore videos. Also, at the same time, he's the one that told me about a website called Humble Bundle. Now, they're not sponsoring this, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you guys if I find anything like this out there, which is great. Um, shut up, Dr. Anonymous. But um, basically, um, so there's going to be a definite increase in, in music quality because I've been trying not to make a point of reusing track after track after track. But thanks to Wolf Boy, Wolf Boy introduced me to Humble Bundle, and the other day, I uh, bought around the neighborhood of 55 files that are going to be used in pretty much a whole bunch of lore videos, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm, I'm still halfway done downloading them. I haven't gotten all of them downloaded yet. It's a lot. It is a massive amount of files. But, yeah. Um, speaking of... Uh, let's see. Fair, I am not into Eldar. I am not into Eldar. No. Does Eldar know... Eldrad know my obsession, boss? Eldrad can shove a nuke up his ass. Um, the Hospitaller is not an Eldar. G-Man and Ferris is in good terms. Mm, true. Um, speaking of which, um, I can't remember. So I've been posting. I've been posting pictures of the chickens as they're being born on Instagram. Um, well, the hospitaler is, and we named one of them Conrad Curse, not Conrad Curse. Sorry, Corvus Corax, because it's uh, it's all black with little yellow tinges on the feathers. Just okay. Raw booty gorilla man. I have no idea. We have more nukes. Iron used them. Um, Dr. Anonymous, why do you ask such questions? Again, guys, I apologize. The, uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff going back and forth. Yes, Ick, his name is Corvus. Uh, I need to start wrapping up here. Because burb. Yes, Hobbit, because burb. All right. So, I'm going to turn off this abomination right here. Now, he has done several, Shane has, he has done several things that cripple my ability to think rationally on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, and Wolf Boy, I can't wait until you come back, if you come back, but I really can't. Uh, Golden, t uh, Golden Tecma Troop <laughs> was playing 40k today and we traded Warlords. Nice. Um... He likes the Tao's hooves. You guys want to see him? Um, I'm on a 30 second to load. You guys want to see him? Because at this point, um, I can just go grab him. <laughs> and uh, show you the burbs. Yes. One second. Um, Wolf Boy, uh, that talk that you had with me last year, I, if you guys are new to the channel, you haven't been around for that long, um, last year, when I first moved out here, I had terrible, 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 terrible internet. And I could not get online to save my life. I just couldn't. Um, and I could not, there was, there was no ability to do reactions, no anything like that. Um, and Wolf Boy talked to me because I had the thought just to put some content out there, I would put content out there in the form of lore videos. Be right back. I'm going to go grab Burb. 
A hospital there. Hey, man. They would like to see the burns. Corvus. Oh. oh, there's another one. I am. <coughs> All right, we're back. They're right here. All right. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Corvus. Ah. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Ah. Yes. Listen. We actually bring up the Discord real quick. He's fine. He's fine. He almost fell in the drink. <laughs> he almost fell in. You would have had a bad day at Mountain Dew. That would have definitely supercharged you. <laughs> yeah, but you can tell he's a rooster. See him. <laughs> I did, like legitimately the, from the time I dropped him to the time it's just, I just looked over there and saw myself drop, and the expression on my face was great. Um, but look, you can see the little white on his wings and stuff like that. That was what's above his nose that I think. No, well, the rooster, the thing on his nose right there, it's a, it's a little bit bright. It's a little bit bright. Let me turn this all the way down. One second. There we go. Now I turned off the light. Yeah, show him the, show them his little wings. I am, I am. Okay. Like, so. Take them up so they can see the little wings. Look at that. So, see? Yes. Yes. Get them, Corvus. Get them, Corvus, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So there are f there are five others right now that have hatched. Um, okay, okay. There are five others that have hatched right now, and um, he is the only one that is has this coloration. We have two that look like regular chicks, uh, one of which is named Nugget. This is Corvus. He's the second one that we've named. Um, he, I have a rooster named Big Red. <laughs> He's a complete scumbag. <laughs> um, so every. Will you look at the newest baby. Um, no, let them stay. Let the new one stay warm. Okay. Uh, bring in Nugget. Okay. Yeah. Well. Unfortunately, the big one of the biggest problems about um, any kind of like hatching and things like that. Um, what are you mad about? Tell me your secrets. Do you want to find Lorgar? Do you want to find Lorgar? Kill Lorgar. Yes. Okay. Do you hear that? Do you hear that racket out there? It's so ridiculous. All right. Okay. Yes, Nugget. Hello, friend Nugget. There's Corvus. All right. So this one is Nuggle Dorn. <laughs> it's not. It's just Nugget. It's Nuggle Dorn. Nugget. There we go. Stop. Nuggle Dorn. Little black that coloration. I named Corvus. Yeah, she. The hospitaler named Corvus. That's because they were talking about we should name one of them Corvus in Discord. Yeah, um, actually, was it was it Discord or was it Instagram? I can't remember. I don't know, but somebody said that we should name one of them Corvus. Yes. Yes. There's oh, little angry things. Oh, it's a little yellow belly too. It's Nuggle Dorn. What? It's a little yellow belly too. It has a yellow belly. I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, they can see it. He's like laid back. That's <laughs> Nuggle Dorn is here. He was the first born. He was to be the Let me first. Get one of the brown ones. You want to get the brown one? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Sounds good. Um, but yeah, Imperial <laughs> Nuggets are for five year old. <laughs> 
Name one Kai Viscane. If okay, so um, there's there's different types of chickens. I don't know which ones that we have here. Uh, anonymous, stop it! Stop it! Fist present. He peed on me. He peed on you. Oh, he probably deserved it. What kind of chi- what kind of chicks do we have? We have, um, have no silkies, idea. stuff like that. We're hoping silkies. We don't know because my grandma has like two hundred chickens, and it's whatever laid the egg. Yeah. So we don't really know what we're gonna get. Yes. This guy's kind of chill. Check him out. Now he was he came out of the egg at about uh what a couple hours ago. Yeah. Now we just had <laughs> McDorns. <laughs> yes. This one is truly nugget. <laughs> it's like a toasted nugget. Yeah, pretty much. See how good Connor is being. Yeah, this is a hen. Yeah, aren't they adorable? Anyhow. What are you doing? It's like burying its head between my fingers. Probably for worms. Here, hold on. Tell them. (laughs) Okay. There you go. All right, the other one was just born. Yeah, you don't want me to bring the just born one in? No, baby, let it be warm. Okay. Yeah, let it be. Let it be warm. Okay. Um, they get really cold really fast. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Bag. Yeah. That one has been dubbed by the Bloody Magpie as being named Johnson. Okay. Can hens be boys? No, Dr. Anonymous, he can't. Um, the way that you can tell is right there on their beak. Um, the, we have one rooster right now. And you can tell it's a rooster by the flange that's right there on their, uh, nose. Uh, on their beak. A mixed of vitamin pill with water and drink it. Cheap, low, cheap, high, cheer. <laughs> okay, guys. It's been fun. Um, I'm going to start the rendering of Baldemort's uh, video on the Vostroyan Firstborn. Um, later tonight, I'm hoping that uh, my voice actor gets with me for the final line of um, the second part of Commissar Story. That will be going on Patreon as soon as I get it done. And um, also, let's see, the Imperial Nuggets chapter will stand against the Iron Chicks. Is all of that necessary? <laughs> so anytime I leave the room. You, you don't get to yell at me for camera time. <laughs> no, little chick, I will not give you my toast. <laughs> Listen to them. Jesus! Alright. Uh, Eldrak can be interested all he wants to. I'll break his glass ass. Um, the Iron Chicks. Yes, I am Kiko. Alright, so, I'm gonna bring this to a close. I gotta get, um, I gotta get the, um, uh, Baltimore's Australian Firstborn, uh, rendering. Check the playlist, guys. And, um... Check the playlist and uh, see if there's anything out there that you'd like. If you notice something that I haven't put in the playlist, let me know. It's going to be a lot easier for me now to actually go through those listings and correct any kind of listings. Um, any any kind of listings. Um, also, I've got the script for the next Five-ish Minute War almost completely done at this point. I just need to go through and put my own little flair on it. And, um, yeah. Um, that's it. Alfarius, what's up, buddy? Alright, so, all that being said, it was a great time as usual, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. And I'm gonna hit these four buttons and just wait for the thing to go dark on the screen so I don't cut anything off.